Hello everybody. Glad that you can join me once again on my channel and video. So I'm really excited today. Um, so I have right in front of me, in front of everyone, the Infinity War Thanos. So just to let everyone know that the Doctor Strange and Thanos just arrived in Singapore. So um, I was just choosing between which one to unbox first. And uh, I realized that I, I indeed prefer Thanos compared to Doctor Strange. I guess the villains, and we all know that Thanos is the ultimate, ultimate villain. So villains tend to have this appeal, or this charisma or attraction of uh, from them. So I, I really wanted to unbox this first, and I guess it is a, uh, how do I put it, there's this sense of coolness or evilness within them that makes them so appealing. So uh, I think I'll really unbox this first, the Thanos first, and I'll only be unboxing Doctor Strange later on, hopefully tonight, the same night. If not, I gotta do it tomorrow. And maybe just a quick first impression when I was looking at this box. Um, this box is much thinner, if I'm not mistaken, compared to the previous Thanos from Guardians of the Galaxy. So maybe the the layouts or, or the way they have packaged this Thanos is slightly different. Okay, it's a bit strange because I'm getting it out from the side. Usually it's either from the top or the bottom of the uh, brown shipper box. So there you have it. Maybe a quick turn. Uh, as usual for everyone to look at the box so I'm definitely be making the review video after this and I think there's really a lot of comparisons to be made especially of course from the current line of Infinity War figures and I really wanted to compare it with my Age of Ultron Hawk and the Guardians of the Galaxy Thanos as well so I think these are the only two figures I will be comparing with that is not from the line of Infinity War or from the Mo Infinity War movie but then again if you think about it right I bought the Age of Ultron Hawk precisely because it is the closest resemblance to the hawk that appeared that appeared in the beginning of Infinity War the fight scene and I think everyone is very clear or very impactful with because of the action so I think there are many figures I can compare this with and I think they all look beautiful and of course if I can compare it with them, I think it will look great displaying or posing the toys sorry, the toy beside this Thanos toy beside the, the rest of the figures so there you have it, big art box um, not exactly one quarter scale size, I would think based on my experience or, or perception is just a very very huge one six skill so I think one quarter skills are much bigger than this definitely the sides of the box and the top of the box there all right so let's begin to unbox this Now, um, 
think many people uh, this started to cancel their pre-orders uh, after it was announced that the Armored Hawk from, sorry not Armored Hawk, the Armored Thanos from Endgame will be released but we can't do this in Singapore because in Singapore usually we have to pay the full price for the figure unlike just a percentage of the cost of the figure so it is impossible or very unwise for us to cancel pre-orders here in Singapore But I mean the end game Ahmad Thanos definitely looks good, but uh, I would want every or any version of Thanos because I mean he's the main uh, how do I put it the main villain, the main antagonist in the Avengers storyline. So it would be very uh, how do I put it. It's like missing something if I don't get Thanos figures. So maybe one more look before I remove the box and we get closer to the figure. Bit of reflection there, pardon me, I don't really know how to solve it, but I hope it doesn't disrupt or affect everyone's ability to view this video or this figure. So maybe let me take it out from the top here. So, um, as I'm unboxing this toy, right, actually Hot Toys just announced the Nebula figure earlier today. And I think when I was reading the comments, I think the response was quite good. So, we will definitely be having a Nebula figure, that's for sure, from uh, Endgame. Because we all know that Nebula is the adopted daughter of Thanos and in the comics she was one of the few or I would say many characters who got to use the Infinity Gauntlet and she used it against Thanos so I think we will see their relationship or their fights being developed and expanded on during Endgame, the Endgame movie. Okay, no more reflection now, pardon me then. So remove all the plastic, covering the figure. I think it definitely looks good there. I think I can feel something at the bottom just now. Okay, so I need to remove the scratch tape. If I'm not wrong, it's the background that was included, or that is included. So there you have it. One more time. This is the 
background that is included together with this figure. So maybe let me remove this figure so that everyone can have a closer or clearer look. So I think Tano's figures right, they are quite similar to the Hawk. I mean of course in terms of the size definitely, but I also mean the accessories. Seems like um, they are of lesser accessories, so there is more like Hawk is for his good strength while Thanos accessory or weapon is nearly the infinity gauntlet. So there you have it, all the parts there. Laid out on the table, maybe let me remove this so that everybody can have a closer look. So this, there are two head scouts being included there. So I mean at this point I'm just thinking um, why would collectors want to cancel off their pre-orders because this is very different from the armored version from Endgame so I mean as a collector or as someone who likes Thanos I definitely want to keep or collect both figures but I mean of course it's really up to personal preference, individual preference so maybe just before I go off camera again and lay the figure properly let me show the instructions manual to everyone as usual Okay, two hit scalps there. And yep. A different arm uh, different arms for the posing of or the, the, the use of the infinity gauntlet. It's portrayed in a movie. So batteries there to of course light up the gauntlet. Possibility there. So this is the backdrop. So we return the arms to natural position to avoid damage after prolonged periods. So that further explains or justifies. <laughs> Even though it's, bo it's boring, my use of mostly museum posts in my Hot Toys figures. So there you have it everyone. I have the... Thanos figure from Infinity War in front of you, in front of me. So I had to spend some time off camera uh, posing and putting up the figure and backdrop there. So I'll definitely talk more about this figure during my review video. And I hope that uh, you will catch that too. So this is my unboxing video for everyone. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. 
and don't stop connecting goodbye take care